So, next one. Um, we go ahead and we ask Mateo. Do you remember the first rule when I said when writing the equation and you're given information? Do you remember what the first rule that I said? Just plot the information. Just plot the information. You have the vertex. That's a point. That's pretty easy to plot. 4, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Perfect. Okay. The next one is a directrix, which is a line. So we've got to make sure we're drafting the line. So it's x equals 6. That means it's going to produce a vertical line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Vertical line, right? So we have vertex, directrix. Now, just based on this information alone, do I know if the graph opens up, down, left, or right? Yeah. It opens up to the left. It's always away from the directrix, right? So my vertex opens up somewhere like this. Now, to find the focus, so anyways, we know the vertex is there. Um, but be able, to be able to write the equation, though, we need to find p. So remember, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. However, that same distance is equidistant from the vertex to the directrix. So, so if this case is 1, 2, so the distance from the vertex to the directrix is positive 2, that means the distance from the vertex to the directrix is going to be negative this negative 2. So there's my new focus. Now, I'm not asking what the focus is. They're asking us for just to write the equation. So we know that that is p. So negative 2 is p. And here's your h, and here's your k. Now, since the graph opens up to the right, I'm sorry, to the since the graph opens up to the left, we use the equation y <laughs> equals k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Oh, I see. And then we just plug in the information we have. So y minus h, which is 3, oh. squared equals 4 times negative 2 times x minus 4. I'm sorry, say that your question again? You're saying because that one's going to the right too? The definition of p, p represents the distance from the vertex to the directrix. So yes, the, va the dis what I want you to understand is the distance is the same. Negative 2 and 2 they have the same distance, but the direction makes that negative because you're going to the left. So that's why it's a negative 2. For instance, I mean, and anyways, you know, think about like, remember when we had a quadratic and we had a negative a? It made the graph open down. You can think of this as like a negative. It's, it's negative. So it's making it go in the negative direction, which would be to the left. So my final answer is y equals negative 3 squared equals negative 8 times x minus 4. And that's all they asked. Done. OK? Oh, did they ask for anything else? They just said write the equation, right? So, ba, ba, ba. 